Hey all you StarCraft 2 fans, Pro Little Baby here with a, uh, not a replay to cast for you, but this is one of the challenge, single player challenges. If you go to your StarCraft menu and click on single single player, it'll be on the right hand side. Um, I decided to cast these because um, they teach you about like unit counters and um, some micro. So um, these will be really helpful if you're if you're bronze or silver or maybe even gold. Um, you might learn a thing or two here. If you're any higher than that, you probably know all this stuff already. Um, but watch it if you want anyway. So um, what your object here is, you have to defend the three supply depots. You get one there, one there, and one there. And then there's Zerg units attacking you, um, and you have your Terran units to defend them. So you have to move your unit. You only get these uh, units right here to defend all three. So um, you don't get a, you get a pick. Like each unit gets to be at one of the three spots. Um, so you got a bunch of lings to defend up here. You got a bunch of mutilists down there and some banelings over there. Um, so I'm gonna send a tank to the banelings. Um, I'm gonna send the helions to the lings. And I'm gonna send the marines to the uh, mutilists and medevacs to the mutilists. Um, the goes to the mutilists as well. Um, I lost connection there because my internet sucks. Uh, and I'm uploading a video to YouTube right now. But, um, it won't mess with Fraps, so this will be fine. Uh, okay, so, <coughs> you don't always need to send all the same, all of, like, one type of unit to one spot. But for this one, it works the best that way. Um, so you just send all of the, uh, Helions up there, you can spread them a little bit if you want to, it's not necessary. Um, the the uh, Marines you definitely should spread out a little bit, um, but keep them all so they can all attack the mutilists at the same time. So you want to uh, like make a little bit of a concave here. Um, about, like, about like that. Uh, you can put the ghost up front to tank the damage. And then when he's about to die, just cloak him, and um, you won't lose the ghost. And also use all your snipes, except for leave about 50 energy on the ghost, um, the so that run. he doesn't die. Uh, you can move, use, move a medevac up there. Um, make sure a medevac is healing him, because he has 100 health, and the marines only have 55. So he's actually a really good tank against the mutilists here. And if you do it right, you don't actually lose any units in this one. Um, this one's super easy, just micro back your helions, and the siege tank. Um, let's see, how many damage are there? 1, 2, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 banelings. Baneling does 20 damage versus the tank. Okay, so you can just, you just siege a tank up in front of the, um, supply depot and you'll win this one fine. Um, okay, so I'm ready. Click the ready button. And first the Helions. So, you don't really want to engage on the creep, but it doesn't really matter. So just kind of go in there. Make sure you don't lose any units in this one. So I beat that one pretty easy. Um, okay, now the siege tank. You don't literally don't need to do anything for this one. Um, he, all he needs to do is kill one painling, <coughs> and the tank won't die. And the tank won't die. Okay, well one painling got to my tank, so that one's super easy. Um, this one is the hardest of the three. So you don't even want stem marines. So. Not right in the beginning, but about when the mutilists start flying forward. Okay, you want to stem them. Snipe the ghost. Cloak the ghost. Don't have the medevacs killing the ghost. Um. Okay, so let's see how many. How many? Is, I lost four units there. That's uh not the best, but not the worst. Um, that's good enough for me. Um, you just need to keep your uh, your losses 10 or under to get the best achievement if you're going for that. Um, achievements don't matter that much. You just, uh, this is more for the, the knowledge of what counters what. Okay, so there's roaches up there, there's an ultralist down there, um, and there's a bunch of hydros down there. So you're going to want to, let's see, you got two medevacs, nine marines, nine marauders, uh, six tanks, a ghost. So, you want to send the marauders down to the ultralisk. You want to send the tanks up to the roaches. Um, but not all the tanks. 
How many roaches are there? There's only nine roaches, so we're gonna send three tanks up to the, the roaches. We're gonna send the other three tanks down to the hydralisks. We're gonna send all the marines to the hydralisks and the ghosts to the hydralisks too. And it's the same with the medevac. Um, okay, so this one I'm gonna put a tank in front, but don't siege it, and then siege two tanks behind the um, behind the supply depot. What I'm gonna do is if you siege all your tanks behind the supply depot, the uh, roaches are gonna attack the supply, the supply depot and then just kill it. Um, so I'm gonna have the unseaged tank, and when it gets low health, I'm gonna micro it back, and these all these siege tanks will kill the roaches. Um, yeah. So these ones spread out your siege tanks and siege them up. Um, you want the ghost in the front again, but this time the D the hydralis do a ton more DPS. So um. Gonna have uh, him in the front, but I'm gonna cloak him right away and then just snipe as many times as I can on the hydralisks. Uh, again, spread the marines out a little bit, get the concave on the hydras. Okay, um, and you definitely want the medevacs over the marines. Okay. The Marauders, um, just have one Marauder in front of the other Marauders, so he doesn't take the area damage from the, uh, the, uh, whatever that guy's name is, oh, the Ultralisk. And don't stem him, but stem the rest of them. Um, so that's how you do that one. Okay, so I'm ready. <sighs> so I'm gonna want to use this tank to micro against the Roaches. <coughs> These other tanks will just blast them. I'm not the mic room pretty anybody. Yeah, yeah. Alright, okay, so they're hitting one of my dogs. Oh that tank's done. Alright, okay, so that was pretty bad. I lost a tank. You shouldn't lose a tank in that one. Um, you might you might just be better to siege up them all. I'm not really sure. I haven't played this in a really long time. Um so this one just stem the back marauders and focus down the ultralisk. Oh no, oh my god. Okay, I, I hit R instead of T. Um, I don't play Terran. Um, not my fault. But you you shouldn't lose any in there. Um, okay. So I'm sniping these hydralisks. Make her back to marines. lost six units that round. That was really bad. Okay. My high score is seven on this. Um probably played it a ton of times to get that. It's not that hard. I'm just really bad at um microing today. Okay, so you got a bunch of mutilists down here. Um you got a couple brood lords and a bunch of lings up there. Um and you got some hydralisks and some roaches over there. Um so you're gonna send the you send about four Four Vikings up to the Broodlord one. All the uh, Helions to that one too. And you should be good. And then the rest of the Vikings and down to the Mutalisks. Along with three Thors, I'd say. Um, Thors do additional damage with their air attack to light. And Mutalisks are light. They also do area damage, so if Mutalisks clump up, they can do ridiculous damage. Um, Thors are really good against Mutalisks, so definitely use them. Uh, I'll also be doing a, a casting of the Protoss and the Zerg form of these um, probably later today. Alright, so you get the little concave with the uh, with the Viking, not the Vikings, with the Helions, and then uh, have the Vikings as far far as you can go because nothing here can attack air. All you're using them for is to kill the Broodlords. Um, just micro back the Helions, and try not to have any Helions get killed by the Broodlords. They do have nine range, so wait for the links to come forward a little bit. Um, okay, for the rest of these, that one's good. You want to definitely want to spread out your Thors um, and micro back whichever one's getting hurt, and then have the Vikings in the back because the Vikings uh, have a lot less health. I mean, the Thor is 400 health, 
Thor can only has 125. And they also have 9 range, the Thor's have 10 range too, so, um, I should make it 10 and a half. No, it's only 10. Okay, um, the rest of the stuff will go down here to the Roach Hydra one. Um, so all three medevacs, all six tanks, the other two Thors, and the Marauders and the Ghost. You can use the Ghost to snipe the, uh, Broodlords if you wanted to. Probably could get by with only three Vikings up there, maybe only two, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm gonna siege up these tanks. These are my ball around the, uh, all around the supply depot. Have the Thors in the front, because they can t obviously take the most damage. Again, they have 400 health, and they have one armor. Um, so you have the two Thors in the front, and then you have the Marauders straight in the middle. Um, you want to st stem them, and then, uh, but make sure the Thors are taking all the damage. Uh, the micro any Thors that are about to die. So, oh, and also have the Medivacs over the uh, Marauders. And also, I'm going to cloak this ghost and use a bunch of snipes again. So I shouldn't lose any uh, units on that one, and I shouldn't lo use lose any units on this one. And if I micro right, I shouldn't lose any units on this one either. Um, so I might be able to actually pull out to only 10 losses here. We'll see. So this one, just want to a move the a move the Vikings as soon as the thing starts. Wait for the links to come to you for the Helions, because you don't want to be attacked by the uh, Broodlords who are coming by the Helions, or you don't want the Broodlords to attack the Helions. So you can roast the uh, links really easy. Now keep the uh, Helion's behind the supply depot, so that, uh, do a little focus fire in here, so that the broodlings don't do too much damage to the, uh, supply depot, and it'll keep it alive longer that way. Um, yeah. So that one I didn't lose in here, that one's really, really easy. You can probably get by with only, uh, with only, uh, a couple, t like, three Thors in that one. Alright, so this one, you want to cloak the ghost. And snipe the Hydralisks, because they have a lot less HP than the, uh, okay. than the guy in the area, so. This Thor's hurt, so he's him back. I forgot to send the Marauders, and I still beat that one without losing any units. Uh, make sure your ghost doesn't die to the area damage of the, uh, the area damage of the tank shots, because mine got into the yellow. Um, Alright, so you definitely want, you want the Thor's to take all the damage here, and the Vikings to send the back and just shoot away. Um, this Thor is taking pretty good damage, so I'm going to micro him back. So this is Viking. Oh, no. Oh, I lost a Viking. Same with this Thor. Get him back. It's Viking back. Oh, my God. Okay, I should have had my Thors much closer. This Thor didn't take any damage, um, and I lost three Vikings. Uh, so I did 13 units. Um, it's not the worst. But uh, that won't get you the top achievement. My record is 7 on that one, but uh, I probably played it a couple times just to get that. So if you like this video, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time.